Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back to me. <laughs> Grab yourself some hot drinks and some snacks. I've got an apple juice in my, um, I think it's called Cranham mug from Cath Kitson. A really old pattern. I don't even think they sell them anymore. Uh, well, no, I know they don't. I'm just babbling on. I've had about four fruit smoothies today, so I'm hyped up from the sugar. And I've got an apple juice, which is probably not going to add to it. Um, let's get yourselves in. Because even though it's really raining and windy, it's really like humid, so it's like really hot and sweaty. So I thought a little cold drink could do me, but bro, so let's just get into the video. So today's video, I did say would be up yesterday, but I do suffer badly with migraine. Yesterday I was completely wiped out. I've done a little bit of replying, but that is as far as it went. There was no filming whatsoever. <laughs> um, so I'm bringing it today instead, and the Pan Land haul will be up tomorrow instead. Um, but I wanted to show you because only when you go on some shops like trendy boho shops and like Zara Home and places like that, you get these planters and they're really, really beautiful, but they can cost quite a bit of money. And I just want to kind of recreate different types of trends. So I've got like a very modern bright one. I've got a country lovely one coming up. I think it might be a few of your favourites. It's my favourite for sure. And um, more like that slow living. So when you use like raw materials and you like the, the, the colours like blacks and beige and terracottas, we're going to go for that. And also... We're only going to be using the likes of like frog tape, tester pots of paint, and sharpie pens. We're really going to try and do this on the cheap so that we can get these, and we're going to be using terracotta pots, which are the cheapest pots you can get. So the, the pots that I actually have, I've got a few small ones. Now, if you watched my kitchen haul the other day, um, I posted, I've done a little kitchen haul, and I bought these from Tesco's, just the little Tesco's at the end of the road. I have, I'm always like at the end of the road, it isn't actually at the end of the road, but you know what I mean, I'm just like up the road. Um, so these little terracotta pots come with it, now these were £2 and these are real succulents, um, but you can pick up these little terracotta pots in places like Wilco's or the Pound Shop, and they're normally about 50p in like Wilco's and places like that, and they get a bit more dearer as they get more higher up in price. And then I've got some large terracotta pots that I got from Asda, I know from my Asda haul last week. Um, and I'm just going to sort of upcycle them. So we've got three different trends that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you. So the first one I will show you is the first terracotta pot. What I decided to do was get some frog tape. So you need some masking tape. You don't necessarily need this. And I decided to mask off the bottom section of the terracotta plant pot. And then I just painted this with a black tester pot. Um, and what I want to show you is, yes, that looks quite cute. You could gold leaf this at the bottom, look really cute. But what I had a little idea for is, I wanted to add some polka dots. And I'm just going to even match them with my shirt. But I'm seeing a lot of polka dot and sort of geometric patterns with like monochrome colours. And I thought, Do you know what? I don't have a little plant, um, don't have a, not a plant pot, a paintbrush. So what a little hack is we're going to be using a cotton bud, just like a little swab, like a cotton swab. And I've got some white chalk paint. That's the only white paint that I do have. Any white tester pot would work well. Or if you do have these chalk board markers, you could even use these. I just wanted to put that in there in case you already have them. And we're going to dip it into the paint. And we're just simply going to do dots all over it and give ourselves that really lovely pattern. You're going to have to really go quite mad with this, I think, to sort of like start to get the effect that I'm sort of like thinking of. But I'm noticing a lot of children's rooms, it's a lot of like jute rugs, these kind of planters, they would look really, really stunning. And you could do this with any colors. And it's just such a simple way, like these plant pots were a pound. I'm using a tiny, you could use a tiny tester pot for this and a cotton swab. It hasn't got to cost you a lot of money. Like really when you work out the amount of paint I'm using, it's probably cost me about one pound 20 to make. Yet something like this, if you've got from H&M Home or Zara Home, probably cost £10 upwards. So it's a really good, cheap alternative. Now, I do feel like Blue Peter, because a lot of this stuff I had to prep before, because obviously I had to wait for this to dry before I peeled off the tape, so I can show you. But I did have a little idea. Now, I'm going to even bring in, like, this is proper Blue Peter now. I'm going to bring in a little idea. So I always put, sort of, like, my foliage in them little foam blocks and I've got some eucalyptus. This was in a pot that's in my conservatory. And it's just to show you what it would look like with a pot, like a plant in it. It would look really, really cute. But I had a little idea 
So if you want to put this out in your front garden, or you want to give this as a gift, you could always paint on someone's initials or your door number. This is my old door number, so I thought I'd use that as the first one that comes to mind. Turn that round. How cute does that look? And literally all I've done is freehanded that on with the cotton swab, wiped it on and done the numbers, and I just think that looks really, really cute, and it's just such a lovely idea. Um, so we'll move that on. So like £1.20 for a plant pot. Now, the next one is my absolute favourite. This idea is so lovely, I love it. Now, if you watch any of my videos, you will know that I'm a lover of sort of like bobbled plates and pottery. I just absolutely love it. Um, and I did show you how to make a bobbled cake, cake stand. I think it was a DIY Poundland haul ages ago last summer. Sorry, I've got a hiccup. Or maybe birth, I don't know. That was a hiccup. I'm just joking. I think I'm hilarious when I've had an apple juice. Um, right, so you will know that I like that kind of stuff, but this has just took it to the next level. I think this is just so lovely. So I've got myself some clay. So I've got some of this air-dried clay. Now, the reason I didn't say you might need this is because you can use, if you've got a hot glue gun, you can make little dots with a hot glue gun, or you can use blue tack. You can use anything or Play-Doh. So if your kids have got Play-Doh left over, you can even make Play-Doh. You probably could go on YouTube and have a little tutorial on how you make Play-Doh. I know it's made out of kitchen ingredients. So you can make Play-Doh or Salt-Doh. I think Salt-Doh is, is salt, flour and water. And you can make your own dough that will dry off. Now what I've done is I've just got some little bits of clay. So you can really use anything to get this. Or rolled up tissue paper with glue, PV glue, just to make little tiny balls. And what I'd done on one planter was this idea. So I just went all over and stuck these little clay balls all over onto the planter. And then once it was all dry, I'd done them all over. So I'm just to get some more clay or whatever you're using. So if you use salt dough, you probably do have them items in the kitchen or some leftover play dough or some just toilet paper with some glue and water. You know, so it hasn't really got to cost anything to make these, but I'm just using clay because I did already have this in my kit. And I'm just going to like sort of do one up there, one down, sort of like spare it out a little bit. This is so blue, Peter, I can't get over it. I'm like, look, this is the one I made earlier. I'm like Neil Buchanan. <laughs> and this is the one I made earlier. So what I've done is once it was dry, I wanted mine white. So I went over with just some white chalk paint. And it ends up looking like this. How cute is this little plant? It's just going to look so perfect on my sideboard. I'm actually going to have this in the kitchen, but I thought this was just such a cute little idea. It's really rustic. You could spray over this after to get more of like a lacquered look if you do use chalk paint. Chalk paint is amazing on terracotta, can I just say as well, because it really sucks it in and draws in, and it just ends up leaving a really lovely finish. Um, so a bit closer up. This is my bobbly plant, and I thought that was a really cute little, little idea. And then the second or third idea, sorry, I was going to go on to, is I've done the same again. So I didn't use the clay to make balls, but I repainted my plant art all in white chalk paint. And then what I've done is, yet again what I've done on the first plant, I used a little bit of like masking tape, typed it round the, typed, typed it, tied it round the bottom, and then just painted pink. So the pink that I'm using is actually um, a Rust-Oleum small pot, and it's called Dusky Pink, and it's such a nice pink. And I had a little bit of white left on my paintbrush, so it's made it go a little bit ombre sort of looking. I've not took this off yet, so obviously mask it off, and then you'll be left with a lovely pink band on the bottom. This is such a cute little idea if you want a really nice little ombre effect. And another thing what you can do, so this is where the Sharpie's going to come in. How cute does that look? That's just going to look so sweet in my kitchen. Really, really lovely that's going to look. Now, I'm seeing a lot of cups and plates at the moment where they are like that. So they'll be like white and they'll have like either like a turquoise rim, like a mint green at the bottom, or a duck egg blue or a lemon, and then it will, or pink. You know all them sort of pastel colours? Have a white top and then it will have like little black polka dots. So just with a Sharpie pen you could do this with, or a little black tester pot. And you could draw the dots onto it, which would be really, really cute. Sort of going onto the bottom as well. And you can just make your own very, very cute little plant pots. So, so cheaply made. I find another little um, drawing that you can draw on these that looks really cute is little triangles. So, tiny little triangles. They just look really geometric, really, really cute. And another thing that you could do with this is you could do this, paint this red and put white polka dots on it and make it look like a strawberry because this would be like the little strawberry leaves at the top. Be really, really cute. And 
These would be like 50p to buy, a little bit of leftover paint I've already got and a Sharpie pen, so it literally would be about 50p to make one of these, but how much would they be to buy in a trendy shop? So I just thought these little ideas were just really, really cute. Um, especially the black and white one, for some reason that's my faves. My faves! And I can't even put my doorstep now, I've got to repaint over that black and then do my actual door number. <laughs> Right, so this is the last one I've done. So this is me attempting to do a terrazzo print, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be any good at it. So what I decided to do is, I'm not very good with freehand painting. That, that just, I cannot draw a proper triangle or a square. They always look sort of rounded off. So what I've done is, is I've just got one of the plant pots that I got from Asda for a pound. And I've got a few tester pots that I've got. So these are all from the range, from the Johnston's paints. These are all a pound each. And I've got jelly green, um, sunshine yellow. I used the pink that I had from the Rustolium as the pink. And then the blue was blue skies. And I just got a paintbrush and I just painted dabs all over it and let it dry properly. Then what I've done is I just got some masking tape and just cut off tiny little, oh, I'm all stuck now, tiny little rectangles or squares or triangles, like you can cut this in half and just stick it on all over onto the colour pieces that you've done and do that all over it. This is an experiment. I don't know what this is going to look like, but this is what we're here for. This is a craft club. Our little craft videos, we all come together as crafters and we're like, yeah, do you know what? We're going to attempt that. So I'm going to do that all over. Once you've done it all over, the main colour that you want your pot to be, which I wanted it to be white, is I've got my white chalk paint and ta-da, here's what I've done earlier. I went over it, including the, um, the masking tape. Now, obviously, you can see some of the colours come through and this is still a little bit wet. Um, but obviously, this is a video and I'm halfway through it now, so I'm going to start picking off bits that we can see. And then what you do is you just start to pick off the masking tape in the areas that you've put it, obviously I'm only going to be doing the dry areas, and you start to see all the beautiful colours come through. And it gives it kind of like a terrazzo print, so, you know, like what's really in fashion at the moment. Well, this even reminds me of like an ice cream, you know, when you have like sprinkles and stuff on it. Try and, and I've got some yellow, I'm going to try and pick all these off so you can see. That one, you can still really see the blue coming through. So I'm going to go over that with the white. So I'm not going to pick that off yet. But I want you to get the idea so you can see. That one's leaked a little bit, but that's fine. I can touch that up. But you could just do quirky little coloured patterns. It looks like a sprinkle pattern on it. If this could be for in a children's bedroom. You could do this all over. You could do it with like black and grey in the background to give it like a really like terrazzo, like granite look. And then what you could do is like spray glitter onto it so it's got like that glittery look to it. Or paint all this in this colour and then across the front just do your very own free-handed rainbow on the front. It could be in a little kid's bedroom. It would just be really, really cute. I've currently been rolling clay beads, <laughs> rolling little roll balls, putting them on a cocktail skewer and making, this is the air dry clay, and making little balls because I'm thinking of making like a giant plant pot and putting all these around the top of it, which would look really, really cute, but they're not dry yet. So they're just hanging out waiting to dry. But... I thought I'd show you because I thought these were really cute little ideas for partners and I know that they're so simple and they'd be really easy to do with the children and we're all a little bit bored during isolation. Obviously we can't moan because we're healthy and we're just, we're safe at home but the point is we want to get, you know, we want to have, have stuff to do so I thought this was really good. A lot of us have plant pots that we're not using in the garden anyway and all of this stuff is kind of stuff that we have at home so you haven't really got to venture out. And if you don't have the terracotta plant pots, then when you are going to get your essentials at like places like Asda and Tesco's, they do sell them in there. But these are my little planters, and I really hope you like, like the ideas and the looks of them. I quite like it plain like that, with just black and white. Um, but yeah, so I've been Rosie Henshaw. If you haven't already subscribed, please don't forget to do so. It's completely free. Obviously, if you don't want to, that's fine. We can still be in Craft Club. We're going to still do Craft Club every week. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also as well, I did have a message. Um, I don't know if they were being mean or not, but someone was like, we really hate that you don't ever message back. Like, you can never be bothered. It isn't that. I try and message back as much as I can. But I have... A ham, I'm not a ham, I'm not a cheese. I am. <laughs> I, I am at home with my three children at the moment. I'm doing homeschooling with all of them. 
and it isn't I can't but I have Instagram and YouTube and I would literally not be able to sort of do things for the kids if I don't and I it really does make me feel terrible but I am reading your messages your messages are so lovely and it isn't the case I don't ever want you to think that I'm sort of ignoring I'm not it really fills my heart with so much joy when I see all the lovely comments and um, and I wish I could get back to everyone but I just can't I've got to look after the kids they are number one priority that's just you know I've got to do their teaching and learning with them so yeah but I just wanted to clean that up because I don't want you to think I'm being rude as soon as I sort of saw it I thought Oh no, what if people actually think that? But I'm not. So, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I've been Rosie Henshaw. Take care. See you later. Bye.